Queen Elizabeth II has sat on the throne for over 67 years, making her the longest reigning monarch in British history. But without seeming morbid or insensitive, at 93 years old, the logistical concerns of what exactly will happen when her reign ends are already being prepared for. There are many plans and procedures in place, and some excellent YouTube videos detailing these, but none have really examined what will happen to our money. Will our banknotes still be legal tender, and if so, for how long? And will Prince Charles start appearing on them? And when can we realistically expect this to happen? In this video, I'm going to make an educated guess by looking at previous examples from both here in the UK and other countries around the world. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Let's start with the coins. To begin with, coins with the Queen on them will continue to be issued for the remainder of the year she dies, but all new coins from the following year onwards will feature Prince Charles, or rather King Charles. Although Buckingham Palace doesn't comment on matters of the accession, it's widely believed that Prince Charles has already sat for these portraits, and likely updates them in preparation every few years. And on these new coins he will face to the left, the opposite direction to the Queen. There's an interesting tradition that the direction the monarch faces must change with each new successor. As for the existing 30 billion coins with the Queen on them, they'll likely continue to be used for potentially many decades. We can look to the Queen's own accession to the throne as an indicator. When her father, King George VI, died, coins bearing his image stayed in circulation for almost 20 years. In fact, you could even find coins dating all the way back to Queen Victoria, which were now almost 100 years old and understandably very worn down. The only reason all the coins were then removed was because of decimalisation in 1971, when coins such as the sixpence and shilling were swapped for the pounds and pence we use today. So the Queen's coins would circulate alongside Prince Charles's indefinitely, until some kind of seismic change in our currency occurred. This would probably be the same in other countries whose coins also feature the Queen, such as Canada and New Zealand, but Australia might very well take a different approach. There's been growing calls for Australia to become a republic in recent years, and whilst Australians are generally very fond of the Queen, the same can't be said for the monarchy as a whole. Many politicians, including former Prime Minister Julia Gillard, have said that they believe it would be an appropriate time for Australia to finally become a republic when the Queen's reign ends. So the Queen and future monarchs might just altogether disappear from the dollar we do. The matter of what will happen to banknotes, however, is a little more open to debate. Like the coins, the banknotes issued for the remainder of the year will still feature the Queen, replaced by Prince Charles at the beginning of the next. But from there, I personally speculate there will be three likely scenarios. First up, a straight swap of portraits. Normally our banknotes are updated approximately every 15 years. The old paper £5 note for instance was released in 2002, and then today's polymer note 14 years later in 2016. It's therefore assumed that they'll be redesigned once again around the year 2030, give or take a few years. So if the Queen was to die soon, they might just keep the same notes but replace her portrait with Charles's and let the two circulate simultaneously, as with the coins. So that's one option. But if the Queen were to die in 10 years or so, or much closer to 2030, we might simply jumpstart the redesign process early. There would be little point in going through the cost, time and effort of creating the same banknotes but with Prince Charles, only to fully redesign and replace them shortly afterwards. The third option is what I think is probably the most likely, and I'd like to thank my subscriber Pira for kindly sending me these notes. There are a lot of similarities between the Queen's reign and that of Thailand's King Bhumibola Dulude, who died in October 2016 after over 70 years on the throne. The country entered a year of mourning, and six months after that year ended, banknotes featuring the new king were issued. These notes aren't by any means identical to the old, but they aren't quite an all-out redesign either. They're the same size and colour, but now feature the new king, and the country took the opportunity to make some additional updates and changes too. The new 1000 part note in particular is a really lovely banknote, featuring the previous and current kings together, father and son. But I don't think the changes are quite drastic enough to constitute calling it an entirely new banknote. So I think this is the most likely scenario in the UK. We'll get a slightly refined sort of handover note featuring Prince Charles that's not identical to the existing notes, but isn't exactly worlds apart either. And the changes that are made will be enough to push back an entire redesign by maybe 10 or 15 years. 
In Australia, however, as we saw with the coins, the Queen could potentially disappear from the $5 bill too, and perhaps even from the Canadian $20 bill. Last year, Canada began releasing a new series of vertical banknotes, starting with the $10. This note is a radical redesign, replacing the country's first Prime Minister, John A. Macdonald, with civil rights activist Viola Desmond, after almost half a century on the note. And the country are releasing the rest of the notes incredibly slowly, at three to five year intervals. It's very possible then that the Queen's reign could have ended by the time they release the new $20 bill. And if they continue breaking tradition, as I suspect they may, the British monarch could forever disappear from Canada's banknotes too. Once again, this is all speculation, mere educated guesswork, and no one knows for certain. Our president is 67 years out of date, and models from other countries and cultures aren't necessarily a perfect fit when applied elsewhere. But when the Queen's reign eventually ends, as sad as it will be, we'll see a whole host of changes to our currencies, even if we're not yet sure precisely what form that will take.